Hi guys! Today we're making this cute little teacup fairy garden. I made a much bigger fairy garden quite a while ago, but I wanted to do something that was closer to the miniature scale I usually work in. You can customize this project however you like by making different elements to go in. The first thing you do to start this project is to choose your cup. This defines how big you need to make your elements. I used this cup that I got from a thrift store, so it was second hand. Then I made a little stencil for the house in the size I wanted it. Of course this depends on how you want it to look like. To sculpt the house I used this grey clay from Fimo. Roll out a thin sheet of clay, then place the sketch on top and cut it out. Then cut some small strips of clay and place them in a cross shape inside the window. Then take a needle tool and make lines on the door to imitate a wood texture. I wanted my little house to be made of stone, so I used a small needle tool to make that texture. To add dimension, add small strips of clay around the window and door for the framing and also make lines on those. Once you've made all four sides of your house, bake them completely according to package instructions and let them cool. After cooling I use some acrylic paint and a bit of brown alcohol ink to add color to the house. And here you see the four sides of my house. I went for a very old, rustic look. Now glue the four sides together. Once the walls were put together, I could measure out how big I needed to make my roof pieces, then I went back to my clay and cut out those. I went for a very simple tile pattern. Then 
Then I brushed on some brown chalk pastel to add the color. Once both roof pieces was covered in the color, I baked them completely before adding them to the house. Then I gave the whole house a coat of this matte varnish. And then a little house is ready. Next we're going to sculpt some small gardening tools. I also made the seat and the backrest for a bench. When sculpting so small pieces, it's a good thing to add a bit of liquid clay to the joints to make it stronger. Then bake all the small pieces completely. Then I use small acrylic paint and alcohol ink to decorate. And yes, you can use acrylic paint only if you don't have alcohol ink. Once you've painted the bench pieces, glue them together and then add the matte glaze on top. Also glaze the small tools. And that's our small accessories done. To make the rope ladder, I took this head pin and cut it into pieces. Then I took some embroidery thread, separated two thin strings and glued the pieces in between them. Let it dry and then we have a little rope ladder. Now we can start putting it all together. Start by filling your little cup with some flower soil. Now you can add whatever plants you want. Since it's still winter, there wasn't much to choose from, so I went with these two cacti. Once you get the plants in place, you can place the house. Then I added some deco sand and small deco rocks to make a little scene.
Once I liked the look, I added the little bench and the tools. Finally, I added two shades of dried moss to look like tiny bushes and plants. And there we are, our little teacup garden is done. I hope you enjoyed this project. It's a lot of fun to make your own little garden and you can customize it to look however you want. If you have any requests for other fairy garden themes you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me a like if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye!